Hey guys, uh, thanks a lot for joining me today on It's a Good Day with Pastor Greg. And if you remember from last week, if you watched last week's video, uh, we prayed for all the schools in Beaver Lodge and Height and Valhalla and Wembley and Elmworth and all over the place. And uh, it, you know, it's really well received. So thank you for joining with me in prayer. You know, as, uh, as we pray for our communities, it's amazing to see what God does. And God really is beginning to pour His Spirit out on all kinds of people. Uh, and it's just a really exciting thing. So we're going to pray today for Beaver Lodge. Uh, but as we do that, um, I had a dream. So I had a dream the other night. And uh, I'm going to come a little closer because we got lots of trucks coming by. But here was my dream the other night. So in my dream, uh, we were at church and we were opening the doors up of church. And there were so many people coming that uh, we, we weren't doing the, the six foot distancing thing at all. People were crowded in. Uh, there was uh, um, no seats left. I mean, it was just like standing room only. Uh, and it was just the, pl the place was packed. The church was completely packed. And I was a little bit concerned that we're not doing safe protocols for COVID-19. And then I began to think about that. And I thought, you know, God, what are you doing? You're beginning to pour out your spirit upon uh, our town and on our area and, and our whole nation. And, uh, and there's so many cool things beginning to happen. People are starting to come to you in droves. And, and so two things, as I thought about this, two things came to mind. The first thing was this, we need to do church differently. It, it, we can't fit them all in the building. Hey, can you imagine if like on the day of Pentecost, 3000 people came to Christ all in one day and wanted to show up to be at church with us, right? That'd be insane. We, we couldn't do it. So we gotta do church differently. So if you're meeting in your homes, if you're meeting with some cohort families, if you're tuning in online and joining us on Sunday mornings from, from your homes, that's fantastic. We gotta think about church differently, that, that church can happen in all kinds of pockets all over the place. So that, that's the first thing. Let's think of church differently. Not just, not, not, we need to make sure we, we keep gathering together. That's an important thing, but let's do church differently. And the, the second thing is this, let's pray that this happens. Let's pray that so many people come to salvation that we can't possibly house them all, that we can't possibly fit them into all the buildings, that we have to start renting school gyms or hockey rinks, that, uh, that we have to start really, really promoting people staying at home and inviting their neighborhood over. Let's pray that God pours out His Spirit so much among the nations that the churches, that our church, that other churches, that all across this land, churches get filled to overflowing. So wherever you are, I know you might not be from Beaver Lodge. We're going to pray for Beaver Lodge. If you're from Hythe today, pray for Hythe. If you're from Wembley, pray for Wembley. Wherever you're from, if you're from Elmworth or Valhalla or wherever you're from, pray for that space. Let's pray over our towns that God would move powerfully and people would respond uh, to him speaking to him. So let's pray. So Jesus, thank you so much. Thank you so much that you're moving in these days. Thank you so much that it's your desire that people would be saved, that people would come to salvation, that people would experience freedom and hope and joy and peace. Thank you, Lord, for Beaver Lodge. Thank you for, for Hythe and Wembley and Valhalla and Laglass. Lord, thank you for Elmer. Thank you for Grand Prairie. Thank you for Demet. Thank you for Dawson Creek. Lord, thank you for all of Canada. Thank you, Lord, for North America. Thank you, Lord, for the world. Thank you, God. Would you move powerfully amongst the people? Lord, I pray today for Beaver Lodge, that you would move powerfully in Beaver Lodge, that salvations would happen en masse, that we would see people turn their lives over to you. Lord, that people would trust in you, that people would, would turn their lives over to you and experience freedom and hope and joy and peace. So we thank you, Jesus. We know that you're good, and we know that your desire to move amongst the nations. So we love you and we thank you. We pray these things in your powerful name. Amen. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me today. Pray over your areas. Let's join in prayer this week for our nations. We'll see you next week.